Heading into their 10th year of U.S. sales, Kimco has built a legitimate brand by separating themselves from a sea of would-be knockoff importers. Since 2003, Kimco's ATV line has expanded from 1 to 10 models. Other major brands have recognized their manufacturing quality as well. Kimco currently builds Kawasaki's youth ATVs along with several models for Arctic Cat. Kimco's beginner-friendly Mongoose 300 got its start back in 2004 as the Mongoose 250. In 2006, Kimco raised the 250's displacement from 249 to 270 cc's and added the Mongoose 300 to the lineup. Based on what they learned testing with the magazines, GNCC Racing and working with various aftermarket companies, the 300 received a number of changes in 2008 to improve its engine and handling performance. These changes included larger valves and new head porting, along with an all-new intake and larger carburetor. The machine was widened 4 inches and lengthened 1 inch, complemented by new suspension settings. As you would expect, for a machine in the entry-level adult sport quad ranks, the Mongoose has a pretty straightforward engine design. Putting an acclaimed 18.3 horsepower, the 270cc water-cooled four-stroke mill features two valves and a single overhead cam. The engine has fed its air-fuel mixture by a 34mm carburetor. The airbox is large and can be accessed with no tools. A fully automatic CVT transmission features both forward, neutral, and reverse gears, and selecting between them is handled by a low-profile gated shifter located on the right-hand side of the machine. A tubular steel frame mates up to dually arm front suspension, delivering 6.1 inches of travel. The rear suspension features a linkage-equipped swing arm with 6.5 inches of suspension travel. Suspension at both ends is preload adjustable for different rider weights and feature progressively wound springs designed to provide a smoother ride over small bumps while offering better bottoming resistance. The Mongoose 300 uses hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. As with most sport machines, the right handlebar mountain lever engages the front brakes and is where the parking brake is located. The rear brake can be engaged by either using the right side mounted foot pedal or left handlebar mounted hand lever. A premium wheel and tire package utilizing aluminum DID Dirt Star rims adds strength and help reduce weight. Kinder Claw tires, 21109 rear and 21710 front, are known for their longevity. The rear's tread is designed to provide better traction in soft or hard conditions, depending on which direction the tread is rotating. The Mongoose 300 is 41 inches wide and 76 inches long. With a dry weight of 392 pounds, the Kimco is notably lighter than its other CBT competitors, with the Can-Am DS250 weighing in at 429 pounds and the Polaris Trailblazer tipping the scales at 492 pounds. The Monkey starts easily, although it does take a few minutes to warm up completely in cold weather. The choke is mounted on the lower side of the left body panel, but is easily reached. The gated shifter works smoothly between ranges and can be operated without the brakes being pulled in. Punch the gas and the Kimco gets moving with some authority. The engine has good low end and decent mid-range power, along with a CVT clutch which locks in low in the RPM range. This makes it easy to get moving without having to ring the engine out, making the Mongoose less intimidating for beginners. It also makes the 300 easier to ride in slow, technical situations, making the machine a viable choice for the rider who tags along with utility riders but wants something lighter than a 4x4. Tight woods are where the Mongoose's engine and transmission work best. Engine performance is less impressive in wide open spaces, although the machine is still fun to rip around on. Climbing is surprisingly good on the 300, thanks to its meaty low end torque. If an incline can be clawed up by a two wheel drive ATV, the Mongoose can most likely conquer it. Although, climbs that require a lot of momentum to clear the top will prove to be too much. Our test riders felt comfortable on the Mongoose, and the machine fits riders of various sizes pretty well. The wide firm seat is comfortable, allowing you to move from side to side for counterbalancing, but it ramps up toward the front, making it difficult to slide up toward the tank. Vibration is not a problem, and our only complaint with the feel of the machine is a bulge in the left side of the transmission, which isn't that hard to deal with. A heavy front end adds to the 300's climbing prowess. It takes a steep hill to make the 300's front end lose contact with the ground, and recovering is easy. The only drawback being that the 300 isn't the easiest machine on the market to wheelie. Despite the weighted front end, our smaller test riders felt the machine was easy to maneuver. 
Stability through turns and on off-camera trails is good, adding to the Mongoose's fun, easy-to-ride feel. As you begin hitting obstacles at speed, the ride gets a bit bumpy. The Mongoose 300 shocks bottom less on jumps than they did on the pre-2008 model, but they feel unresponsive to small impacts and harsh reacting to medium-sized hits. Unfortunately, removing preload from the springs won't help much, but there are affordable, high-quality aftermarket shocks out there that will bring the 300 suspension in line with the rest of its well-balanced package. Slowing the Magnus is easy, thanks to its triple hydraulic disc brakes. The brakes are more than a match for the machine, offering good power and feel. The Kenda tires will last forever and work well in hard-packed to intermediate conditions. They'll get around in the sand, but don't clean out well in thick mud. Chain adjustment and air filter maintenance are easy enough, but we're slightly bummed that there aren't grease fittings for lubricating moving chassis parts. Our verdict is that the Kimco Mongoose 300 offers nearly everything you could ask for in a beginner-level ATV. It has well-balanced engine stability and braking performance, and is reliable enough that you may wind up towing one of your friends back to the truck with it. If Kimco would dial on the suspension, it would be a standout choice in its class. At $3,799, the Mongoose is a few hundred dollars less than most of its competitors and is significantly lighter. If you're looking for a small bore fully automatic sport machine, then the Kimco Mongoose 300 is definitely a viable option. For more information on the fun to ride Mongoose 300 or Kimco's full line of ATVs and UTVs, log on to KimcoUSA.com.